Your Excellency Sri Narendra Modi, Honorable Prime Minister of India. Your Excellency Dr. Lotte Tiring, Honorable Prime Minister of Bhutan. Excellencies, distinguished members of the Indian delegation, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Kuzizangpula and Namaskar. It is my honor in extending a warm welcome to the Honorable Prime Minister of India and the delegation to Bhutan. We would also like to express our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to His Excellency Sri Narendra Modi for kindly consenting to grace today's important event. In today's program, we have the inauguration of the Mangdechu hydroelectric plant, the launch of stamps to commemorate five decades of Indo-Bhutan hydropower cooperation, launch of the Rupee card, inauguration of the ground station for the South Asia satellite, and the inauguration of the interconnection between the National Knowledge Network of India and the Druk Research and Education Network. We will also witness exchange of the agreement between the Power Trading Corporation Limited of India and the Druk Green Power Corporation Limited for the sale and purchase of the Mangdechu power. We will also witness the exchange of nine memoranda of understanding between the various institutes and agencies of Bhutan and India. And finally, the program will conclude with the press statements by the two honorable prime ministers. Without further ado, we will start with the inauguration of the Mangdechu power uh, plant. And for this, I have the honor to request the two honorable prime ministers to kindly proceed to the first inaugural plaque and to kindly do the honors of unveiling the inaugural plaque of the Mangdechu hydroelectric plant, marking successful completion and the formal inauguration of the Mangdechu hydroelectric plant. Your Excellencies, please. I request all members of the audience to be kindly seated. La. Thank you, Your Excellencies, and may I now invite your attention for a short video on the Mangdechu project. In 2009, the Government of India and the Royal Government of Bhutan set a target of jointly developing 10,000 megawatt of hydropower in Bhutan. Mangdechu Hydroelectric Project was one of the 10 hydroelectric projects planned under this initiative. The project is a 720 megawatt runoff river power plant built on Mangdechu in Tongsa, located in central Bhutan. In April 2010, an agreement was signed between the two governments for the execution of the project. The construction works began in 2012. In 2018, during the visit of Prime Minister Dr. Lotus Ring to India, mutually beneficial understanding was reached between the two sides on the tariff for the export of surplus power from Mangdechu Hydroelectric Project to India. On 16th June 2019, the first unit of the project was successfully commissioned. like to congratulate the management. We are very grateful to the government of India for continuously supporting hydropower in Bhutan and also the RGOB and the former governments for their continued support. Over the course of seven years, the Mangdechu Hydroelectric Project Authority has not only focused on developing the project but also actively engaged in social and community support works. A total of 455 million utum was utilized for social and environmental causes through which the local communities greatly benefited.
Hydropower development is the centerpiece of Indo-Bhutan bilateral cooperation. And to commemorate five decades of Indo-Bhutan hydropower cooperation, may I now request the two honorable prime ministers to kindly launch the commemorative stamps by unveiling the plaque, please. Thank you, Your Excellencies, and we will now proceed to the next inauguration. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it has always been His Majesty the King's vision to harness space, resources, and technologies for the benefit of the country. The inauguration of the Ground Earth Station today marks a major milestone in taking forward His Majesty's royal vision. We would like to thank the Government of India for their generous support and for making this possible. With this, I would now like to request the two honorable prime ministers to unveil the inaugural flag of the Ground Earth Station. And I request for the audiovisual unit for the short video presentation, please. Bhutan is a landlocked country situated in the southern foothills of the Himalayan mountain range. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced a landmark mission in 2014, the South Asia Satellite. A satellite gifted to South Asian countries to achieve growth and prosperity. The satellite was launched on May 5, 2017 by ISRO. Bhutan now has taken the lead in utilizing the satellite for the benefit of its citizens and connect its demography living in remote areas of the country. Bhutan has now a hub station in its capital city Thimpu, jointly established by ISRO and Bhutan's Department of IT and Telecom. Bhutan's state-owned broadcasting service BBS now expands the reach of its TV channels, BBS 1 and BBS 2, and four radio channels beam through the satellite to many households in the country. The network connects all the 20 Zongkhags or districts and selected Gewogs or group of villages for disaster management and e-governance services. Its National Emergency Operations Center in Thimpu is also linked to the peripheral centers at Zongkhags for a more efficient monitoring. The satellite also has potential in enhancing the quality of education and healthcare through teleeducation and telemedicine applications. The South Asia satellite will not only strengthen our ties but will also bring our hearts more closely. The rupee by using the rupee cards on the point of sale terminal.
Thank you, Your Excellencies. Thank you, Your Excellencies. The launch of the rupee today signals a new era in Indo-Bhutan friendship, and I now invite your attention for a short video on the rupee. Bhutan. Bhutan. The happiest country in Asia, whilst high in the Himalayas, is one of the closest allies to India and share a special relationship which has only grown more over the decades. May be the culture, the simplicity and honesty of the Bhutanese people, cuisine or the mesmerizing beauty of Bhutan leading to a rise in tourism in Bhutan. Bhutan and India have always been friendly and supportive since many decades ever since. 1947, when Bhutan was among the first nations to recognize India's independence. 2014, when our Honorable Prime Minister visited Bhutan and scholarships to Bhutanese students from India was set to double. Bhutan agreed to higher hydropower targets. An expansion of bilateral trade was discussed. The special relationship with Bhutan has only helped both the nations. For instance, in a year, 87% of the total visitors to Bhutan came in for travel and leisure, where majority are Indians. 2019, a big step for India and Bhutan. Collaboration between NPCI and RMA is conceptualized with the view to further improve the existing bilateral relationship between the two countries through people-to-people -people contact by way of digitization of banking services. This is an exemplary flagship project in the region, much in line with the objective of promoting less cash economy, espoused by the central bank of both the countries, SBI, being the settlement bank for RMA of Bhutan. With this tie-up, domestic and international rupee cards will be accepted over 250 ATMs and 800 merchant outlets across Bhutan and would cover 100% merchant outlets and ATM terminals. The happiest country in Asia will now be happier with rupee. Powered by National Payments Corporation of India. In associate research and education network. Through this collaboration, Bhutan will have access to many global research and education networks and will also enable Bhutanese researchers to participate in world-class collaborative research projects such as e-learning, radio astronomy, telemedicine, crop research, etc. With this, I would now like to request the two Prime Ministers to jointly press the button for the launch of the interconnection. Linking institutions of research and excellence across the country for dissemination of knowledge, NKN empowers the information superhighway of India. Implemented by NIC, it is government-owned, high-speed and secure. Over 1,711 plus institutes connected, thereby touching and empowering over 5 crore students and faculty. At the 18th SARC Summit, the Honourable Prime Minister of India shared his vision for making the region more connected and more prosperous. After connecting with Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, NKN goes live with Bhutan. It will help Bhutan access global REMs like Singaran Asia Connect for Asia Pacific Region, Gyan for Europe, NordUNet for Nordic countries, and Internet2 in USA. The benefits include connecting Bhutan to e learning platforms like Swayam, NPTEL, Digital Library, Content Delivery Network, and virtual classrooms, possible certification for student exchange programs, telemedicine, participation in experiments with LHC. Weather forecasting will help in agriculture, etc. NKN has partnered with Drukrim to build the information highway between India and Bhutan. 
for knowledge sharing and collaborations. Inaugurations. We now move on to witness the formal exchange of